Hello, everyone. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're integrating well from last night's healing circle. This is your integration reading, and you're welcome to watch the Zoom video version of this or go to my YouTube and listen to the audio version of it where there are timestamps so that it's easier for you to find or re listen to certain parts of this integration reading. And the do go back and listen to this reading a few more times. That's what Spirit World is saying, because it does predict the future and just some more lessons that's coming your way and how to navigate through those learnings. And by the way, um, our construction worker friends are back out right and early this morning. <laughs> So if we hear any sounds, then it corresponds to the message that's being channeled. So right now they're hammering and they're, they have some kind of a generator going. So we'll see uh, what happens. We're going to begin with the moon cards here. And these speak about the energy that's coming in. So what are the waves that you'll be riding? What's the energy of that? Mm. Communication is key. When this card comes out, there are many messages here. One thing, and they want to speak about this first, is that you will be speaking and communicating with the spirit world differently. You're going to be connecting with them in a very different way than you previously did. So for example, if you used to see things in your mind's eye, you might all of a sudden switch and start to feel things in your body. So you may become clairsentient, that's what it is. You're psychically feeling things. And someone's really hammering hard right now outside. So that spirit's way of saying, are we hammering that message into you? You're gonna start to communicate with spirit world differently. So pay attention to those changes that happen within you, how your intuition shifts, because we are stepping into a different sort of an energetic flow. Communication is key, also refers to the kinds of signs, symbols that are coming from the spirit world. They might change a little bit so that your spirit vocabulary expands a little bit more. So, for example, let's say they send you a symbol of the rose. Let's say now at this point, you've, whenever you see a rose, it tells you a certain feeling of yes, that's go for it. Seeing a rose is your sign from spirit encouraging you to move forward. Let's say you want more details. Okay, you want me to move forward, how? And then you see how the rose, the vocabulary of that spiritual meaning may start to evolve. Maybe next might be coffee. They're using coffee because that's my favorite spirit plant. <laughs> so yes, they show you a rose. And then the next sign they might bring you forward is coffee saying, go full force. We're going to give you a lot of energy and just go for it. Dive right in, take action. It doesn't necessarily mean go drink lots of coffee. <laughs> that's the whole process of building up your relationship to this spiritual vocabulary, right? What does it really mean? The communication is key, refers to the way you need to start speaking out for yourself a little bit more, voicing your needs, concerns, standing in your truth more. We did release a lot of that collective consciousness's belief system that have been limiting you. Once we distance ourselves, disconnect ourselves from those group belief system, then we start to question, we start to stand out a little bit more because we're speaking out a little bit more and be prepared to have your beliefs tested in various ways. And that's where the creator is saying, you're going to start to explore more of what your boundaries are. And those boundaries may be how much you want to share with certain people in your life maybe how much time and energy you give to them because you're just starting to shift and become a different person and going in a different direction than they are. It doesn't mean it's bad or worse either party. It just means that everyone's just evolving. And how do you want to evolve? And as you're evolving, how do you want to set those boundaries? So that's what the message here is about. Communication is key speaking setting boundaries and distancing yourself from certain people 
Don't let the past hold you back. That's the next card. So are there people that's still holding you back? Or are there situations that you need to fully just let go of? Because they're just really literally holding you back from moving forward. More of that realization, recognition, and acceptance that things aren't working for you may really come to the surface with more clarity. And then you'll know how to move forward to take that action, right? They're showing me the, the sign of the coffee again. You know how to take action. Speaking of coffee, towards the end, we will look into these coffee cards. They talk about spirit signs that they're going to send your way. And yes, that's the reason why I bought it, because that had a coffee theme. <laughs> mm, this is a good card to come out after doing all that inner healing work and manifesting, this means that whatever you manifested is in alignment with where and how your soul needs to evolve. So have faith in your dreams. And again, I keep hearing take those action steps. I mean, we could manifest all we want, but we do need to do something daily to move towards that goal or dream. So know that it is happening. You did plant that energetic seed in the spirit world. So it's starting to build momentum. And I keep hearing that momentum. I'm just seeing uh, like a pinwheel spin really quickly. So you might start to feel intuitively that it's going to start to arrive or present itself in your life soon. And when you get that feeling, be prepared to recognize it and be able to receive it. And... I'm hearing from a lot of your spirit guys, you will be able to receive whatever you manifested because we did do that work of feeling worthy enough to receive any manifestations that have gotten free upgrades from their creator. And they do want to remind you that as spiritual people do their own inner work, the manifestations, they do have to match your spiritual frequency in that future. So you will know and you will be able to accept that manifestation when it arrives in a way better package. All gift wrapped and very pretty, says the creator. Next, we're going to go into these rose cards and I'm going to hold it up because I'm being guided to do so. And I'm hearing the hammer outside again, so that just tells me. There's some messages in here that needs to be hammered into you. Ah, first card that had come out. You're stepping into more of that healthier, divine, masculine energy. And I'm glad we did a lot of that healing the wounds within the divine masculine within yourself, but also any divine masculine figures along your ancestral line. That healing we did, it did impact a lot with your ancestors in the spirit world, but also any family members who are still with you on this earth. There's some kind of shifts that are starting to rumble. I'm also seeing cracks on the earth open up. So there's some kind of a crack that's opening up, some sort of a foundational thinking that your ancestors had, your family had, that's now going to crack and crumble because they realize it's not working out. And it's all in a good way. That's what I'm feeling. It, it does have a very good feeling to it. So that's what this card, the father, is speaking about. And there may be shifts also between you and a father figure in your life. It doesn't have to be biological father but someone who is like a father figure or even like a brother to you those relationships the energy is going to shift to a much more of a positive more of this calm energy that's just happened to flow really well in the next few months so they're telling me to hold this card up right now to the screen again just so that you really feel that solid secure protective energy it's not a very aggressive protection. It's a very much of a safe sort of a protection. And that's because a lot of that understanding of safety and security were healed and downloaded into your root chakra. So now 
you could understand what a healthy divine masculine energy looks and feels like. So how wonderful. Interesting that the father card here has a red rose and that red rose looks exactly like the root chakra that I was seeing in everyone last night, how it was starting to open up and feel just a little bit more relaxed, more in flow. And there goes the hammer again. So you're well rooted. Uh, the next energy that you are leveling up into or understanding is the architect. And this goes back to hearing all those belief systems that you have absorbed from the collective consciousness. You, you see that that was a different sort of an architecture. You now have removed yourself from it and know that you are the architect of your life. For some reason, I'm seeing the architect in the matrix my spirit team loves that movie <laughs> maybe there's something symbolic there the way the art architect character in the matrix felt about his role because i feel there's a lot of that belief system collective belief system there that you may be able to learn from and see ah okay i get it and i'm more aware of it when that's happening and there's another hammering happening again so the spirit world is saying, are you, are we hammering this message in to be really aware of these belief systems and how are you navigating around it rather than being pushed or somehow influenced by it? How would you want to be your own architect? And this card is just encouraging you to just be aware of your thought patterns. Are they really yours or were they influenced by someone or by some experience? And is it true? So that's the next thing that you're pushing yourself towards as this architect of your own life. What's the truth? Because I want to be aligned with that. And, uh, and as you're more aligned with that truth seeking and being an architect of your life, guess what? You're stepping into the hero energy and that's the next rose here. I love how this rose is yellow because a lot of that healing was done at the solar plexus, all about power that goes back and ties into the architect, right? You have to really feel empowered, you know yourself to co-create your life with the creator in the universe. So a lot of that healing has happened at the solar plexus and you're stepping more into that hero mentality, not in an egoic way of you're saving yourself or <laughs> you're going to save others, more of, okay, I, I create the story of my life and what are the elements I want to consider to make sure that the story that I'm telling myself and living is, is the truth. We're going to go into these cards that give more details of that journey, right? The hero's journey and the journey of the architect. I'm going to hold these cards up to the screen so you could connect to the energy there. Ah, so I like how I use different card decks and cards that come out from each deck really follows up with the previous card's message. So with the architect card and the hero card previously from the Rose Spirit, it spoke a lot about calling the power back to yourself, being empowered. And guess what was the first card that was pulled out from this tarot deck? Authority. I like how there's that number four there. To me, number four also represents the shape, the square. It has four sides. What does number four and the square shape represent to me in a spiritual sense, a firm foundation? If you think about it, a house is square or a rectangle. It, it creates that really solid foundation. And that's what's being created right now. I like how there's this ring here around this fellow's head that just symbolizes that awakening and the sense of empowerment that is growing and expanding at the solar plexus. It's a very high frequency of self-confidence and I'm hearing from the creator that a lot of that empowering and this new sense of self-confidence is due to the fact that they downloaded those codes into that plant that symbolized you 
So those codes are actually, and I forgot to explain it uh, during the circle because I was focused on witnessing it, but those codes were really the written language of the light language. So even though I didn't speak a light language, the codes did come in. And I'm just navigating through light language at the moment um, as I'm being mentored um, and as I'm trying to get used to this activation, acclimatizing myself to this. So that's why just only the codes had to come in because that was what was necessary for the group. But know that there's that, those codes are working to set those firm foundations within you, just so that you know what's your belief, what's others, what's truth, what's false. And that's a good sense of authority. And you may be questioning authority going forward, right? And not in a nasty, rebellious way. It's more of, hmm, I don't quite agree with that. And then you do that in a work of, why do I disagree with that? What does not? What's not resonating with me? So it's a very deep inner work. I feel that you're going to really go down in the next few weeks. Uh, temptation. This card what it wants to talk about and a lot of your spirit guides are coming through um, the, the right side so if you're wondering why i tend to look to my right that's where i, I see a lot of Im imagery and your spirit guides um, trying to get my attention everyone spirit guides and don't be tempted to fall into whatever drama or be tempted into numbing yourself when things get a little challenging the energy flow that's coming in the next few months, it, it will test you. And yes, there are times where you need to retreat and give yourself a break from exposing yourself to things that really stress you or exhaust you. However, there is a time that's needed where you need to actually go and say to yourself, I do need to face that. How am I going to do it? Spirit, send me those signs. So follow those breadcrumbs, those I call those breadcrumbs, the signs from spirit, follow those breadcrumbs because they're really trying to guide you in the direction that you need to flow in. It's all about staying aligned and on your own path for the next three months. That's what I'm hearing. Try to stay focused as best as you can, even when you're tested. And a big drill just got turned on outside. So. That spirit's way, someone's spirit guide's way of telling us, are we drilling that into you? <laughs> I'm starting to appreciate those construction workers. At first, when they started, I thought, oh, no. But then I thought, you know what? This is my opportunity to practice patience. Remember that virtue that was downloaded and just enjoy working with them in this sort of a way. Ah, so if you practice patience, and you avoid being tempted, guess what's coming your way? Recognition and reward. They're, they're just showing me something, so give me a moment here. Number three and four is standing out, so I'm going to just hold this card up here. And if you're listening to the audio, just refer to the images I attached to the email. Recognition and reward. Number four seems significant. I see four mountains. There are four significant challenges that will come up for you in the next couple months. So you do have all the downloads you need to be able to navigate through that with ease. That's what I'm hearing. With recognition and reward, the reward part, the number three is standing out, which tells me that there are three wonderful things, blessings from the universe that's going to come your way. And that's their way of rewarding you for just facing those challenging mountains, right? But these look like mountains to me in the background. So know that there, there are rewards coming, many, many rewards. That's what I'm hearing. Ah. Okay, so the number four keeps coming up, so this is great. Firm foundation is the next card. And look at that red triangle at the bottom of this person's back. And the mountain theme is back up again on that card, isn't it? 
So know that there's something solid. You are grounded. You have that firm foundation. And not to worry. That's what I'm hearing. You have everything you need in terms of downloads. Mm. They're also asking you to do some manifestation work on your own, however method you want to um, use to go back to the spirit world, work with them and go, okay, I want to create this firm foundation. What does that look like? Show me what I need. And that's a very empowering way to manifest or bring things you need so you feel safe and secure. Most people go up to the spirit world and say, this is what I need. And that's where spirit goes, okay, if that's what you think. <laughs> so this, isn't it better, a bit more of a shortcut to just go to them and say, what do I need right now? What am I not learning? And what are the tools or things that um, that need to happen. So I create this firm foundation. So explore that firm foundation. What does that look like for you in the future? Or how do you need to feel secure right now in all aspects of your life? And let spirit show you. Mm. So when spirit shows you, things, they're going to show you various options. And that's where you're going to need to make some choices and decisions. So with all these wonderful blessings and opportunities coming your way, you do have to choose what feels right for you. And ultimately, spirit could give you some answers, but they want to give the power of choice and decision making to you because they want you to create your life. They want you to be the architect. They want you to be the authority of your life. So know that you do have the downloads you need to make that choice or make that or take that next action step. That's what they're saying. And I'm really sweating a lot right now. So that's creator's way of saying, yes, you, you have everything that you need and we keep telling you that so what part of you feels doubtful because I could feel that doubtful energy coming up within some of you again I'm seeing that the codes that were downloaded into you they're still working through you so you might feel more confident and when you later on down the road you'll feel more confident so when you go back and listen to this you'll realize oh, okay those codes just needed to work through me for a few more weeks before I came to that positive or elevated state. So be patient. <laughs> they keep putting that card back up in, in front of me over and over, that patience card that came up in the prep reading. Ah, okay, this is good. Positive movement forward. This is the last card from this card deck. And know that you are moving in that positive direction. And that's all that they want to say. Just take these messages that resonate with you, work with them. Go back and re-listen to this reading again and see what new guidance you could pick up. And here's a really good test if you want to do this to yourself. I've had a lot, a lot of clients tell me this in their own private readings where they listen to the recording and they also wrote things down. They realized that what they wrote down was what they wanted to hear, but what they needed to hear was actually in the audio. So that's why I encourage everyone to go back and re-listen to readings because you're going to pick something up different each time. And even simply by looking at the tarot cards that I've attached, if you print them out and tuck them somewhere in your journal, Go back and look at them because you might pick up something intuitively from those cards. So we're going to now get into the spirit animal cards. Ah, so this goes back to truth seeking and questioning belief systems and being your inner architect. So. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. Oh, and I'm not sure if the microphone caught that, but 
there's some hammering going on again. <laughs> the outside sounds might be muted because I do have a noise reduction activated on the Zoom recording. Uh, this goes back again to being the architect, taking action, being your own authority and making those decisions to create that positive movement forward. So take that lead, lead your life. And if you have trouble making decisions, think of what the fear is. Is it the fear of failure? Or is it because other people's opinions are still clouding within you? Other people's opinions or beliefs about life and we actually hear it, it could linger in energetically within your system and influence you in quiet ways, in the ways that you make decisions. So be aware if you feel some kind of another foreign energy that's not really yours, that's stopping you from making a decision, or that might be feeding into your fear. That could be others, other people's stuff that's swimming inside your energy field. So know the discernment, have that discernment, be the authority to step in and discern and go, no, that's not mine, that's your stuff. So take the lead in those ways so you know what's really your beliefs. Mm, nice. Be spirit says sweet results await. So that goes along with a positive movement forward, doesn't it? So I love how the cards are speaking off of each other we're gonna get into the goddess cards so i'm just gonna hold it up to the screen so you could really connect to the energy there ah first goddess is hathor and she talks about receptivity very important you have to be comfortable with receiving from the universe after you've manifested and her message is allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Let's see what else she wants to talk about here. Mm, some of you still need to know the balance between giving and receiving because a lot, a lot of you are still over giving to overcompensate for this feeling of unworthiness that's there's a layer of that in some of you so we're all a work in progress so just allow those layers to unravel itself in your day-to-day -day interactions communication with people how much are you giving how much are you receiving and becoming an aware of that could automatically you could automatically correct yourself that's what i'm hearing your spirit guide would say the next goddess that come out is irene she talks about peace so more of that peace and tranquility coming in and she is saying there's no need to worry everything is working out beautifully and she's like that's all i want to say <laughs> Uh, I'm never sure how to pronounce her name. Um, I think it's CJ or CJ. And she talks about quiet time. Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. With all the work that was done, with all these messages that have come through in this integration reading, do take that time out to think about how that message could apply to you. What other things do you need to reflect on more what other rabbit holes can you go down so that is her message we're gonna go now into the coffee cards oh i could feel the energy buzzing i'm gonna hold it up so you can all feel the energy there mm. nice flowers if you see flowers like a tattoo on someone maybe you see flowers as you walk by someone's yard maybe they have a beautiful garden or someone walks by you with a bouquet it means that there are romance and sweetness coming into your life when it speaks about romance it could be that there's a deepening of a connection with a current partner or it could be a new partner coming in for those of you who are um, currently looking for a partner, a lot of this message here really applies to this 
renewed romance or this renewed way of looking at life. And that makes you feel more connected to the universe. That also allows you to be more in flow and be more receptive, be able to receive things. So that's what the main message in this card is all about. Flowers just flow, right? They don't think about, oh my gosh, what's the weather tomorrow? <laughs> they just flow, right? And I'm hearing the creators say flowers are quite intuitive, the spirit in them. So they do know what the energetic flow, the future flow is like in some ways. So you may start to develop that within you. If you do work with plant medicines quite a bit, or if you tend to really love flowers, then you do uh, or that you can adopt those intuitive aspects of the flowers. And I'm hearing someone's spirit guide say, just buy yourself flowers because why not? <laughs> mm. So it's always good to balance all that heavy work, any sort of reflection, meditation, contemplation you'll be doing after this reading, balance that with playfulness. So if you see dolphins, it just means be playful, just mix up the energy a little bit. It could also, I'm seeing fish and whales, so it could be those things as well, just to remind you to be playful. I'm also hearing from the spirit world to spend time close to the ocean or near a water because that element, water element has very cleansing properties and a lot of us need it. In particular, during the integration phase, more of those negative energies or blocks could just automatically release itself from you. And just to help with that release, spending time near sea water is wonderful. Salt water is wonderful for turning negative energy into something neutral. Uh, I also want to talk about the word cooperation that's on the dolphin card. And the spirit world is saying, where are you not cooperating with us? Because you're not seeing all these signs that we've been sending you. <laughs> so just a little reminder from them to be aware of any signs that are sent to your way. Ah, ship, directions and journey. This is the last card for this integration reading. If you see a ship, it's the spirit's world of saying that there could be, your course could change or that there's a new journey starting for you. So get ready, be prepared. The direction might be changing or your direction of where you wanna go to is now more clear. The fog has lifted and there's more clarity on what needs to be done, what actions you need to take. And then once the fog is lifted, then you can also see all these wonderful opportunities that you've manifested that is wanting to present itself to you. So, and then the last hammering sound just happened. So that's, <laughs> that's Spirit's way of saying, yeah, we, we hope we've hammered a lot of these messages into you. And I can see why they keep saying or reminding you to listen to this a few times so the messages do go in. At the end of the reading, they always want me to hold up one card to blast out its encouraging energy to you. So I'm being guided to hold up the Bee Spirit card about sweet results that are waiting for you. So thank you for joining me in the summer solstice circle and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.